as an innocent child, a real human, with a real body. I was a good kid. I dreamed of becoming a DJ. Teachers told me I was musically inclined, and lots of others agreed, just not the other students. God, that guy's such a loser. I wish he'd shut the heck up for once in his life. More like skibbity dork. I guess they found my song annoying. They were simply too young to understand my genius. Many great artists aren't appreciated in their time, but it meant that I had to endure some egregious pranks. Hey guys, watch this. Shh. I could handle the occasional name calling, shoving into lockers. That was nothing. But one day, things escalated. That stupid bully snuck up behind me and he dunked my head in the toilet and he gave me a swirly. At the time, I was disgusted. Of course, I know now that toilets are a thing of beauty, not gross. Ha! Hope you liked your swim. Why did you do that? Because twerps like you need to learn a lesson. Are you? Did you record that? <laughs> Wait till people see this. You'll be the laughing stock of the whole town. This is gonna go viral. And people did see it. You practically showed the entire school. And those people showed people. And those people showed other people. But still, that wasn't enough for him. He wanted to show the world. My reputation was ruined. Not that I had much of one to start with. It felt like everyone I'd ever met knew my shame. And it only got worse from there. It never ended. It went on for weeks. It might have been months. I tried as hard as I could to block it out, but it was no use. I didn't care about being a famous musician anymore. I just wanted to blend in, for no one to notice I existed. Eventually, I had to change schools. I gave up on my dream. I stopped singing my song altogether. I didn't want to fall victim to these pranks ever again. So when I grew up, I took over the family plumbing business. Not exactly glamorous, but it was honest work. And I got a lot of clients. Well, well, well. Long time no see, skibbity toilet. It was him. But we were adults now. Bygones, right? Some people never grow up. They never really change. And that kid was determined to reclaim the old days. I should have seen it coming. A classic swirly, but something went wrong. The toilet was broken, you see. And just like that, I was gone forever. Or so he thought for a second. Then the unbelievable happened. That's right, I survived. Some sort of magic, perhaps the power of revenge, had saved me. He panicked. I would have too. It was pretty nightmarish, so he did what anyone would have done. But it wasn't enough. Though I was gone from his home, I wasn't truly gone. It turns out, flushing me just sent me from toilet to toilet. 
There was no permanent way to get rid of me. It was fun, pranking people the way they pranked me for all those years. But eventually, I started feeling resentful. I was trapped in this toilet, cemented to walls, flushed endlessly. So, I decided to try something. I wondered if I could force others to join me. Skibbity. And it worked! I continued to claim victims. With each one, I grew stronger. Then I realized my power was being wasted. Stuck here singing and scaring innocent bystanders? It was my turn to get true revenge. Once I'd gotten powerful enough, I freed myself and my brethren. I command us to go forth and attack! Incredible! Finally, our power would be seen by everyone, including a special someone. Silly human. He thought he was brave, recording everything as if he could do something to stop it. He even brought that stupid little camera. He loved giving swirlies. Let's see how he liked getting them. He didn't deserve to be part of our army. He could go live out his life as a freak, just like us. But I should not have let him get away, because while I amassed my army, a resistance formed. That awful bully started an underground group of anarchists, bent on fighting back. Not that they were any good. <laughs> simply weren't a match for us. So they began to run experiments. Cameraman managed to replicate his transformation, giving new life and new powers to the members of his resistance. And suddenly, the battle shifted. It was a massacre. We were outnumbered and outmatched. My revolution stopped in its tracks. We were forced to retreat, to regroup and plot our revenge, biding our time, letting our powers intensify and grow, until eventually, we were strong enough to strike back. And that day is now. We are here, more powerful than ever, enacting an ambush designed to wipe you, camera scum, off the face of the earth for good. Over my dead body! I'm fine with that. I know you're in here somewhere! Oh, cameraman! Cameraman! Come out and play, eh? There you are. I knew I'd find you here. Do you have any idea how much pain you've put me through? Today, it all ends. Today, I get my revenge! What the? What's happening to me? You have been hypnotized. Say hello to my new friend, Skibbity. Do you like him? I do. Because I learned his mysterious blue screen had a paralyzing effect on toilets just like you. Aw, oh, don't worry now, buddy. It'll all be okay. I'll see you soon. Very soon. <laughs> Comfortable? It's no use. One of my guards would just flush you before you'd be able to escape. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but I just had to find a way to talk to you. You needed to finally know the truth about how I became the way I am now, and for me to take responsibility for what I did to you all those years ago. You see, back in my school days, I was a bit unruly. I guess you could say I was a bully. I took my anger and used it to torment everyone in my sight. But do you know who my favorite target was? You.
You were constantly getting praised for your musical talents. Everyone loved that stupid little song of yours. Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes, skibbity bum bum, neep neep. And at some point, I guess it started to tick me off. And as that jealousy swirled inside me, I became inspired to make my very first movie, a horror film. Hey guys, watch this. Even as I entered that bathroom, I knew what I was about to do was wrong. But I didn't care. I just wanted to wipe the smile off your face. And now let me say this once and for all, so you know I mean it. What I did to you that day was awful. It was heinous. One might even call it unforgivable. When I showed the other students my footage, it ruined your entire reputation. I didn't care though. I loved the attention I was getting, both in school and online. I was finally somebody. You had to switch schools, and I had to as well, because eventually the principal found out and had me expelled. I'll never forget when my father picked me up from school that day. He was so ashamed of me. I lived with the shame of my actions for many, many years after that. But lucky for me, my passion for my art would eventually put me back on the right path. I grew up and found success as a big shot Hollywood cinematographer. People all over the world wanted to work with me. My movies were a hit. And cut. That's a wrap, everyone. Great work. I was living my dream life. Everything had worked out in my favor. But apparently my old friend from school wasn't as fortunate. I couldn't believe it. There you were after all these years, and now you were a plumber. What what happened to all that musical talent, all that potential? I, I couldn't help but feel somewhat responsible, so I decided I'd try to make amends. Well, 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 long time no see. In hindsight, it was an awful idea, but I guess I thought it'd be a great way to make up for things. You, me, the toilet, it was just like the high school days. But this time, I was gonna hand you over all the money I made from my latest film, as a token of kindness. Now I was going to film your reaction on camera. Oh no, what have I done? Don't worry, I'll get you out of there. I did the only thing I could think of, flush the toilet. You disappeared, it was like you were eaten by the toilet bowl. And then, when your head popped back up, something about you had changed. You were this sickening. Skibbity bop bop, oh yes, yes, skibbity bop bop, deep deep. I had never seen anything like it. You were a monster. So I ran for my life. You chased me all over the city, bathroom to bathroom, toilet to toilet, destroying everything in your path. No, please, stop! <laughs> And it wasn't just me you tormented. You added more and more to your porcelain army. You had completely changed. And I realized that maybe I was right all along. There was an evil lurking inside you from the get-go. You had become a menace to society, starting a full-blown revolution. After that, I did the only thing I've ever known how to. Document it all on camera. I was going to expose you for the monster you were. But that's when you and your minions finally caught me. You swallowed me whole and... I found myself swimming in a giant pool of water, and there was my camera floating right beside me. That's when things got even stranger, and my life forever changed. What? What did you do to me? What the? My, my camera! It's replaced my head! What have you done? <laughs> I gave you a swirly just like the one you gave me all those years ago. And now look at you. You're a freak, even more so than the rest of us. <laughs> he was right. I was a freak. This is what I had always deserved. No one was going to want to work with me now. My career was over in an instant. So I ran away. I hid myself in my movie set for weeks. But of course, as a bigwig Hollywood director, it was only a matter of time before someone came looking for me. Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? Where's my favorite cameraman at, huh? I know you're hiding in here somewhere. I won't hurt you. I just want to talk a little business. Hello? Ah, what the? What, what happened to you? An accident. 
And a happy one at that. What? What's going on? You stay away from me! Oh, but I thought you wanted to talk business with me. Maybe pitch me your latest project. Try to get me back behind the lens. You! You're a freak! I thought the same thing at first, but then I saw this for what it really is. A gift. You see, now I'm always behind the lens. Now I'm always filming. And you, you're in luck. Because you're going to help me make my best movie yet. From there, I started to build myself an army of camera people. The spread was unstoppable. But I didn't only want cameras. No, a good movie needs sound too. And screens for them to play on. Soon my soldiers were everywhere. My movie was being filmed from a thousand different angles. And you know what the title of my movie was going to be? Down with the skibbity toilets! And that's why I set all this up. That's why I did all of this. Because today, I end the scourge that is skibbity toilet. Today, I end the horror I created all those years ago. But before I do any of that, I just wanted to look you in the eyes and tell you from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. This was my fault from the very beginning. I should have never given you that swirly. But now I have to end this. Goodbye, old friend. Ah, my hand! You bit my hand! Ah, no, get back here! Stop him! Stop him! No, don't let him escape! He can't leave here alive! Come on, almost there. Almost there. There's an exit. I don't think so. Mark my words, Skibbity Toilet. One day I will end your kind. One day I will flush every last one of you. Until then, old friend. Until then. <laughs> When I was young, my people knew nothing but peace. We lived in a toilet utopia, but everything changed the day they arrived. everything that day. Our home, our culture, our freedom. But the fight wasn't over yet. The camera people may have won the battle, but they'd also started a war. Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes. Skibbity bum bum, neep, neep. <clears throat> Private. Sergeant. What the heck is going on up here? I was just a, uh, I was just- You weren't just practicing your singing up here now, were you? No, sir. Definitely not. I- They're singing the old song is illegal for a reason, boy. You want those lens heads to hear us out here? No, sir. Good. Then I'd advise you to stop singing permanently. Yes, sir. Now head back to the barracks. You're relieved. And so I grabbed him by his focus ring and I ripped his camera head right off his body. And that was only the first one. I probably took down eight or nine of those ugly camera freaks that day alone. Oh, what's wrong, Private? Don't you like my story? Or are you just so afraid of the camera heads you won't even talk about them? I'm not afraid of the camera people. Oh, so we can talk, huh? Fantastic. But can he also sing? 
Come on, Private, sing the old song for us. I hear you like to practice it on your own sometimes. That's enough, Corporal. You know we aren't supposed to sing the old song anymore. Aw, oh, sounds like somebody doesn't remember the lyrics, do they? Or was your memory flushed away during the invasion? Just like your little daddy was. Why, you little... You're not horsing around. A cameraman's been spotted up on the ridge. Let's see here. Yep, one bogey. Twelve o'clock. That's a cameraman, all right. You think we've been discovered, Sergeant? Doubtful. No. We'd be knee-deep in lens heads if that were the case. But we can't afford any heat. We need to take action. Skibbity toilets, listen up. We spotted one bogey up on a distant ridge. I need a volunteer to come help me to throw him off our path. Do I have any takers? Nobody, huh? Nobody here is brave enough to take on a cami with me? A little taste of adventure? Send the private. He can perform the old song for him like he was in the mess hall just now. Was he really now? I thought we had already decided to put an end to your little singing career, Private. Well, no worries then. We'll just have to take your show on the road. Let's go hunt ourselves a cameraman. What's that? <coughs> just a bird, Private. Don't get jumpy on me. Just stay focused on the task at hand. Hey, Private, you see that right there? Down in the dirt? Those are cami tracks. Means we're heading the right way. Or the wrong way, depending on how you look at it. There he is, Private. Now here's the plan. I'm gonna go climb up there, sneak behind that dirty cami, and take him out for good before he can alert any of his filthy cami friends about our presence. All I need from you is to keep a lookout. Got it? Got it. All right then, let's do this. And remember, stay focused. Okay, I just need to stay focused. I'll keep one eye on the sergeant, and one eye on my enemy. What are you doing out here all by yourself, you camera-headed freak? Wasn't stealing our city enough for you? Oh no, no, no! There's all sorts of camouflaged cam heads up there! Sergeant's heading straight for an ambush. I've gotta find a way to warn him. Please, help me, Dad! I really need you right now! Alright, son, take it from the top. Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes! Skibbity bum bum, neem neem! Whoa! Ugh, I'm never going to learn the great song. I'm the worst skibbity toilet ever! No, son, that isn't true. You'll learn the song in your own time, just as all skibbity do. And remember, the song is in all of us. It is? Mm hmm, right in here. That's it! The song! I've got to perform the song. That'll draw them towards me and away from the sergeant. Looks like it really is showtime after all. Oh, camerahead! Come out and play! <gasps> what the? Where'd he go? Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes! Skibbity bum bum, neep neep! Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes! Skibbity bum bum, neep neep! Skibbity bum What in the world does he think he's doing? He's gonna draw out every cameraman with an earshot! Oh yes, yes! Skibbity bum bum, neep neep! Uh oh, guess you guys didn't enjoy it then, huh? Not big fans of scatting? Whoa! Oh, come on! Is that all you've got? Come on! Come and get me! Oof! Get off of me! Get off of me! Oh no, hold on, Private! I'm coming to save you now! I'm coming! Get your stinking camera hands off me! <laughs> gotcha! You want more of that, you punks? I'll kill all of you! Oh gosh, I've got to find somewhere to hide, and fast! Ah! Ah! What the? Oh no, I'm done for, the end of the line. I'm sorry, Dad. I really wanted to get the song right for you. I just wanted to make you proud. Take this, camera scum. Okay, Robin. Yeah, I'm okay. What just happened? What'd you do to him? I, I don't know. The cameraman, he, he just touched the water and, and dropped dead. Seriously? Oh. 
<laughs> Take that, you filthy lance heads! <laughs> My fellow skibbities, today is a day of celebration. We have discovered a new weakness in our foe. For the first time in years, we have hope. This fight is far from over. This war can still be won. The skibbities will rise again! Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes, skibbity bum bum, yippee. This is for you, Dad. This is all for you. Three, two, one. What the? I don't like the looks of that. Why'd you have to teleport a guy when he's on the toilet? He's so vulnerable. What the heck? Where am I? I gotta get out of here. I'm not cut out for war. I'll take Playtime Co. over this any day. Uh, no time to stand around. What? There's... toilet head things? That's horrifying. Skibbity, skibbity. And they sing. Of course they do. Uh-oh. Really didn't expect laser beams to be coming up from singing toilets with human heads, but I guess every universe is different. Ooh. Wait. Skibbity, skibbity. How are you doing that? Ah! Let me go, you freak! I got you, kid. Thanks, man. I... Your head! Oh, what kind of game is this? This world is no game. It's war. Men! Retreat! They've outnumbered us! You too, son. Get moving. Ah! You don't have to tell me twice! So, uh, are those hats or your... Actual hats. And those toilets. What are they? The skibbity toilets. Our mortal enemies. Huh? Do toilets and cameras have some sort of secret rivalry I don't know about? We do in this world. Well, they don't in mine. I don't know what this place is, but I need to get out of here. I'm just a normal human. I don't belong here. You say you were transported to this dimension? Yeah. One minute I was, uh, using the restroom, and the next, whoosh, I landed here. It seems you two have been the victim of the Skibbity Toilet's dark power. If you came from a different universe, that means they're learning. Learning to infiltrate and overtake other worlds. This is not good. The singing toilets want to take over worlds? You truly know nothing. As you've seen, they're not normal toilets. They're monsters. They kidnap and transform humans to turn into their minions, to form armies, and their goal transform everyone in sight. You see, their leader. He wanted revenge on humanity for years of mockery and disrespect. And with every transformation, he grew stronger. But soon he realized there simply weren't enough toilets to transform everyone. So to enact his revenge, Skibbity. he launched an attack on the world. Attack! He survived. And those of us that did formed this resistance. We became cameramen, developed new powerful technology, and use it and everything we can to fight back. But the powers those toilets possess is far beyond anything we've come up with so far. That's crazy. Do you think that advanced technology you mentioned could send me home? Hmm, it's likely. But first, you might be of use to us. Well, yeah, it's not like I'm gonna go join those freaky toilets. And we'll make sure of that. Hey, let me go! I'm on your side! Don't worry. We know. What are you doing? Making you one of us. No, wait! Stop! I said I was on your side! You didn't need to do this! Think of it as a uniform. 
Now, as for what you'll be helping us with... Whoa! That's one big speaker! If you blasted music out of that... It would likely have the power to shatter... porcelain. That's genius! Why haven't you used it yet? You see, we've tried a lot of different weapons. But none have proven effective. Brute force does no good against them, but we think this will finally get the job done. The only downside is... We don't have a strong enough power source. That's where you come in. Why me? The Skibbity Toilets haven't seen you yet. You'll break into their base, steal their generator, and bring it back. Are you sure they won't recognize me? We have a disguise, just in case. Jeez, flattering. You really think this is good enough to fool them? Those toilets are idiots, trust me. Now come on, we can reach their base through here. Uh, through the sewer? Get used to it. Don't be suspicious. You're a toilet. This doesn't phase you. I never really was a good actor, you know. Well, break a leg. Skibbity, skibbity, skibbity. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, it's just me, another disgusting toilet monster like you. <laughs> and where are you going? Um, our base, of course. <clears throat> skibbity, skibbity. Why? My, uh, seat needs polishing. <laughs> ah, yep, that's it. I thought I noticed something different about you. Carry on. See? Morons. Just like I said. Let's go. This will lead you up there. I can't go any further. Just act natural and you'll be fine. Well, natural for a toilet monster, that is. But what if- ah! All right, act natural. Skibbity, skibbity, pop pop, yes, skibbity. I think that's what we're looking for. All right, just gotta take it. That wasn't so bad. Uh oh. Let's hope having legs gives me a speed advantage. Fire! Throw me the generator before they steal it back! Got it! Pull me up with you! <laughs> Sorry, player. You've served me well. You got me what I needed. So I'm done with you. Bye. No! You traitor! I've got no way to fight back other than... Hey! You want a sing-off? I'll give you a sing-off! I didn't expect that to work, but it gives me an idea. All I need is that generator back. They're never going to stop the Skibbity Toilet Army with music like that. I gotta get up there with my microphone and... Titan Speaker Man! Play my song as loud as you can! No, 
They got you! We can't give up hope. We have a new creation. One we know will stop it. <laughs> we have to release it before it's too late. This might be the end for me, player. No! We're gonna win this, and you're gonna be there to help. I'll try to power through. No! Ah! They're so tiny and terrifying! That must be their secret weapon! Something's working. It's taking up those toilets left and right. I knew our hard work would pay off. Now, here's the real test. Give it your best shot, toilet. Let's see if this works. Must have swapped our bodies. Retreat! Retreat! Skibbity! <laughs> I could get used to this. It'll be okay, player. We have technology. I'll have us transform back in no time. Uh-oh. What? Look. Oh! Handprints. Great. That's going to be pretty difficult with our current head-in-the-toilet-bowl-style bodies. Exactly. Wait a second. Do you have some of the Skibbity Toilet's instincts in you now? I think I can sense something. Wait, I can see it too. The location of the Skibbity Toilet base. It must all share some kind of psychic wavelength that we have access to now. Looks like these toilet bodies aren't totally useless after all. Still gross, though. Listen up, toilets. Or should I say, people. I'm unsure how this happened, but as you'll notice, we all got our bodies back. While originally shocking, I think this is exactly what we needed to take down those camera fools once and for all. Our new mission is to get into our base, power up, and destroy our enemies once and for all. Ahem. <clears throat> skibbity, skibbity. Pardon me. <clears throat> Skibbity. It's my voice isn't working. I've lost my song. Someone else do it. Skibbity. 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 Stop that, all of you. <sighs> it looks like we can't access our home base, but it's no matter. I think I know the perfect place where we can go. Onward. Ah. Uh. They clearly had the same idea we had. They're going to the camera hideout. They might steal all your new tech. Shouldn't you be worried? No use worrying. We have to act. Let me show you how it's done. Skibbity! Skibbity! Whoa, that was beautiful. In a weird toilet way. <coughs> uh, thank you. We need to make a plan. I intend on keeping us human. The only thing in our way is those darn cameras. We must destroy them before they destroy us. Hello, my lens-bearing brethren. Today is a day of vengeance. It wasn't enough that those horrible skibbities destroyed our cities. Now they've cursed us with their disgusting porcelain bulb bodies. We have to defeat them and reset the natural order. That's gonna be a lot easier said than done, boss. They won't give up having a full body without a fight. We have to harness our new skills, our new powers, if we hope to defeat them. As they no doubt will have access to all of our technology. But who knows if these clowns will even know how to use it? Everyone, attack! 
What? You're so strong. Looks like we're stronger than you ever were. Retreat! Retreat! I think we're more powerful than we realized. Maybe we should stay like this after all. Finally, we can wipe those skibbities off the face of the earth. Skibbity, skibbity, skibbity. Skibbity, 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 skibbity. Huh? Skibbity. What's happening? I think if you lead the song, your power grows. Yes, we're gonna win this war once and for all. If their lenses are so powerful, imagine what giant ones can do. Boys, we are getting our bodies back. You will prove very useful to us. Whatever that explosion did, we're going to reverse it. <laughs> skibbity, 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 skibbity. They don't know what's about to hit them. It's time. We're ready. Let's go out there and show them what we've got. Remember, player, you're our new secret weapon. Whatever you do, don't die. Yeah, I generally try to avoid dying, so don't really need the reminder. Here they come. Prepare yourselves, cameramen. It looks like the tables have turned, you camera cretins. Ready to perish? You're the ones that will perish, skibbity scum! Fire! What? <laughs> Your powers are useless against our inventions. Attack! I think it's time. Leave the song. <clears throat> Good thing I warmed up. Skibby bop bop skibby dee dee. No, using our own song against us. <laughs> Good luck defeating me now. Get their weak points! Well, since we're using secret weapons, how do you like ours? Wait, that looks like... It is! He's using our own robot against us! Yeah, but the lasers killed it last time. It doesn't stand a chance against me. Ready? Aim! Wait a minute. Player, stop! Don't shoot! That's what he wants! You'll cause another explosion and... Fire! No! Oh my god, what have you done? We were so close to ending this for good! Personally, I kind of miss my arms and legs. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we're back to the status quo. Run! Okay, we've only got one shot at this. Go, go, go! Come on, boys, you can do it! Flush that awful thing! Finish it! No, no, no! How is it that I have all the brightest minds in Cameropolis working under me, and yet this is the best we can come up with? There has to be something more we can do to fight this thing. Well, have you tried clogging it? You think this is some sort of joke, newbie? Is the death of your Alliance members a joke to you? No, w wait. I want to hear what he has to say. Go on. Well, it's just their toilets, you know? If you plug them up with enough paper, they'll overflow and... Oh, come on. This is preposterous. We've got a giant skibbity toilet eating our civilians, and you actually want to feed it more? No. No way. Absolutely not. I won't stand for it. Doctor, where are we at with our growth laser? But it's still at least a couple weeks away. Well, then you better hope that big old commode's next attack is still a couple weeks away. Because I want that thing operational by the next time that creature makes landfall. You understand me? Yes, sir. Dismissed. So, you think we should clog the toilet, hmm? Where'd you get that idea from? <sighs> if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Oh, I doubt that. We've got a giant toilet attacking our beautiful city. <laughs> uh, nothing surprises me anymore. So, tell me, where'd you get this idea of yours? 
Uh, well, if you really must know, about a week ago I was walking downtown by myself. I was delivering some research documents to one of the camera labs when suddenly a pack of skibbity toilets cornered me in an alley. I had nowhere to turn, no way to defend myself. So when one of those things attacked me, I did the only thing I could think to do. I flung the wad of papers inside it. At first it seemed like it did nothing to the creature, just slowed it down a little. But then the toilet choked and fell over dead. The others were so freaked out they just scampered away. It was a miracle. Hmm, so clogging them really does work. This is incredible. This could change everything. Yeah, well, good luck getting the camera leader to believe that. He doesn't take me seriously. He's not gonna listen. Uh-uh-uh, player. Not with that lack of confidence, he won't. Let me go talk to him. Maybe I can make him see the light. Hello? Sir, are you in here? Sir? Sir? <laughs> You're not here to try to get me to reconsider that clogging idea of yours, are you? Uh, sir, I just think if you would listen... Have I ever told you the story of how I became a camera leader? Uh, no, uh... Then allow me to enlighten you. I was just a captain back during one of our invasions, and my commanding officer instructed me to lead a search party through a sky rise downtown. Our job was to clear out any skibbities that might still be hiding. Let's split up. Lieutenant, you're with me. Affirmative. Let's do this thing. We had cleared out most of the city without any trouble, but then I spotted something strange. Hey, Lieutenant, get over here. We might have something. Eat, eat. Get off me! Get off me! The creature jumped on top of me before I had a chance to react. I thought I was done for, but then... <laughs> my Lieutenant saved my life. And unknowingly sacrificed his own. Skibbity! Huh? Lieutenant! When my superior found out I'd flushed away the last skibbity in the city, he gave me the promotion. I should have died that day, but instead I was made into one of the camera leaders. Sir, I had no idea. That... Oh, that's so awful. Now, Doctor, do you know why I told you that story? Um... To demonstrate to you just how vicious these creatures really are. If you do not flush them away while you have the chance, they will annihilate you. Do you want to be annihilated, Doctor? Sir, I... I... Now, I know you are a scientist CCTV, and I know how much scientists CCTVs love to experiment. But war is no time for trial and error, Doctor. These creatures can be destroyed one way and one way only. Getting flushed! Oh, no. Well, I'll be. Time to finish this. Okay, people, battle stations, let's flush this son of a gun. Sir, we need to rethink this. It's too late, Doctor. I've already made up my mind. But, sir, player's clogging idea. I said I've made up my mind, so get out of my way! Cameraman, are you ready? <laughs> Does a bear poop in the woods? Okay, then, let's finish this. Ah, it does poop in the woods! Finish this! Skibbity 
Dear God, we failed. Looks like the Titan cameraman was no match. What do we do now? Plan B, come on! What are you doing over there? Why am I strapped to this table? What's plan B exactly? You're going to save the day. What? But uh, how? I don't know how to fight. You won't need to because you're going to have our secret weapon. Now hold still. Wait, wait! <gasps> what the? Hey, body mouth! Choke on this! Yes. I can't believe it. He actually did it. Boom, boom, boom. Sir, getting multiple heat signatures from within this room. Well then, let's do what we came here to do, huh? Freeze! Stay right where you are! Hands where I can see them! Huh? They're... little ones? I didn't even know these things could reproduce. Well, if they can reproduce, that means mom or dad must be around here somewhere. I don't know about you. I don't care to meet them. Scooty! Ten o'clock! Son of a... Please! Don't... Don't make me hurt you! Okay, okay, please, just listen to me. You, you, you need me. You'll never find a way out of the city on your own. Look, see for yourself. We've taken the entire city. So, what'll it be? You let me live? You'll never be able to escape without me. Especially traveling with your little ones. Help me help you. Yes, I'll let you live. For now. But if you try to double-cross me, or let anything happen to the baby Skibbities, your fate will be the same as your two friends here. You got it? Got it. Good. Now how do we get out of here? You're sure this will lead us to the edge of the city? I'm positive. How do you know? Have you been down here before? Yep. These are the tunnels we used during the initial invasion. It's how we were able to break into the city. Make it to street level so quickly. It's quite the series of battles. Psh, of course that's how you know. Camera scum. Dang it. That's not good. What? What is it? Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. You said we'd be able to get out this way. Well, I'm sorry. How was I supposed to know that they'd set up extra security down here tonight? Well, you better figure out something, or have you forgotten our little deal? Okay, okay. Just relax, all right? Let me think of something. Hmm. This isn't what I signed up for. Well, I don't know what to tell you. This is our best shot. Now hold still. Ouch. Just stay quiet in there, okay? This will all be over before you know it. Aw, oh, there, there, little one. Our friend's going to lead us to safety. You wait and see. All we have to do is trust him, okay? <laughs> Nothing to see here, just uh, some trash. Hello there, just a routine trash dump. Yes, it's working. Everything's going according to plan. Shh, don't talk to us while we're trying to hide, moron. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Just hold on a sec. Oh, uh, hello there. Can I help you with something, sir? Well, I couldn't help but notice you were, uh, talking to the trash. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I am, in fact. Just, uh, a routine trash run. You know how it is. Sure do. Say, you mind if I, uh, take a look inside? Uh... I mean, that is standard protocol, after all. Standard protocol? Oh, no. Here we go. It'll just be a quick peek. Looks good to me. On your way then, soldier. <sighs> that was close. Shh, shut up and stop talking. Stop shushing me. Sir, come quickly. I need to show you something. Cameraman, we might have a problem. Well, here we are. The edge of the city. I guess that's that then. Yeah, I guess it is. 
not gonna go run back to your pals and sick them on us, are you? Eh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give you guys a day's head start. Hello, soldier. Seems you forget what side of this war you're on. Well, no worries. Allow me to remind you. Ah, he's awake. Hello, soldier. How is your rest? <sighs> oh, where am I? The Skivities, what, what have you done to them? You are back at base, and I haven't done anything to your precious little toilet friends. At least, not yet. You know, I really have to thank you, soldier, because I've spent months trying to wrangle up a couple of these little skibbities, and you just dropped three of them right into my lap. You see, these little ones are actually incredibly rare and dangerous if left in the wrong hands. Yes, sir. I'm gonna raise these three to be a bunch of skibbity killing machines. Sick them against their own kind. <laughs> Let them go, sir. They're innocent. They're just little ones. For now they are, but soon they'll grow into full-sized monsters. Just like that friend of yours we've got waiting for you out in the courtyard. What? He's still alive? He sure is. Why don't you come out and see what we've done to him? I think you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> this soldier is what you get when one of those adorable little creatures grows up. A disgusting monster. No, wait. Please, don't flush him. All right, fine then. I won't flush him, cause you're gonna do it. Show us what side you're really on, soldier. Prove your allegiance. Are you with them or with us? Skibbity, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know any of this was gonna happen, I- No, this is my fault. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in all this. Just get it over with. Flush me and go back to your kind. We were never really meant to be friends anyway. Hit me as hard as you can and make a break for the woods, okay? What? I said, hit me as hard as you can and make for the woods. No, I heard what you said, but what about the little ones? Don't worry about them. Just trust me. Well, what are you waiting for, soldier? Flush him! Ah, my lens! He cracked my lens! Well, don't just stand there. Get him! Get him! Don't let him escape! Oh, now's my chance. Ten bucks, I'd get him first. Yeah. Phew, that was close. But I've got to find somewhere to hide. There he is. Get him. Oh, no. All right, little guys. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. Uncle Cameraman's going to get you out of here. Just you wait. Well, well, well. You really do have quite the affinity for these creatures, don't you, soldier? Pathetic. Just let them go. And have these monstrosities grow up to destroy our precious city? No, no, don't think so, soldier. Unlike you, I'm no traitor. Unlike you, I know what's best for my kind. You know, General, you've got it all wrong about these creatures. Oh, is that right? Yeah, except you're right in one regard. That these creatures really are incredibly dangerous. Skibbities, attack! <laughs> ah, ah, get off me, you wretched beasts! Let go of me! Hey, General, check it out. Looks like I was on the right side after all. Oh man, this is the end of the line. I'm done for. I just hope that soldier was true to his word. I'm sorry, little ones. I really tried to get you to safety, but I failed you. Huh? What the? What's that? <gasps> he did it! He really did it! He saved them! Nope, I'm out. So, you really did sick your friends on me after all, huh? Yeah, well, what can I say? Days Head Start felt like too long. 